guys, we are back with another video for my year 2017 for the month of October, which might be in my notebook. Let's see, <laughs> it might be in here. I haven't finished putting things in for September yet, but I will um, off camera. I'm not going to do it on camera. Um, okay. So we're going to get ready for October, which is here. And I'm going to take it out of the notebook because it will be easier. There we go. Okay, so for our setup, as we have done before, um, we are going to add our book review list in here somewhere. And I think, I think this month I want to like stick it here somewhere. So we're going to do that. I printed four of the book review lists on a piece of um, just regular printer paper with my laser jet printer. Um, the book review list and other free image downloads illustrations are all available to you guys here in the My Year 2017 Facebook group. Um, the, in the files section there is a Gina's Free Doodles or something like that named file. I don't remember the exact name of it. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube and you're not part of the My Year 2017 group and you're like, what the heck is she talking about? I have a free um, art and creative life group. Uh, me and three other teachers um, teach throughout the year over on Facebook. The link is in the description below. We're about ready to close, of course, close out and archive the year. It's October. We're getting to be the end of that year. We're going to start a brand new group for 2018 and going forward and if you would like to join both groups you can at the moment um, the links are in the description below the old group will be archived at the end of the year it will be accessible to anybody still in there but it's not going to be open to new members at all so if you want to see the old group you better go join now I'm going to use just some tape runner to tape this book review list in here go. One of my goals for the year has been to use up what I have um, in my journals and things. I just, you know, we hoard stuff and I don't know why we're hoarding it. Um, this time last year, I picked up on clearance some of these gold rub-on transfers from Target. I don't think they're making them again this year, but these were intended to be used on like pumpkins and stuff, I think. And I have them in my stash, honestly kind of forgot about them. I've been using them up, so I have like a sheet and a half left, and I thought, you know, at least where I am in California, in the U.S., it's autumn. We're getting ready for all of our autumn holidays, um, and I um, want to add some appropriate colors and decorations. Um, these are really, really pretty and really bright and shiny. Let me look this they're really pretty um i um actually am sorry they're not making them again this year i'd like more of them but um they're not doing that so that i've seen anyway i, I not that i'm going shopping a lot because hello trying to use my stash up <laughs> so i'm just using um a, po a popsicle stick to rub on the um front side and that releases um the gold transfer onto the paper and you know if I mess up it's not I'm not too worried um, this side has like a plastic coating and the sticky like metallic side is here so when you put it on the paper it sticks a little bit and then rubbing it with popsicle stick makes it stick completely so we're going to add some gold accents here just you know messily at random I'm not caring if I get perfect images or anything like that that one's dust. So I have one more. My goal is to try to use it up, so we'll see what happens. I have a few other random bits and pieces of things. Thank you. 
I do like the way these come off the paper. They come off really easy. I have found, if you happen to have some of these in your stash, um, that if you're using them in a journal page, um, it's probably for the best that you put some gloss gel medium over them to just ensure that they don't at some point rub off, that they really do stick well. Like I said, they weren't really, I don't think, developed for paper crafting. They were developed for, like, decorating your pumpkins. So now we have some nice bright gold stuff on there and I have um, used it up, so yay. Okay, cool. Um, I have a few other random things that I think I wanna look at. Um, adding, I have this, you know, I have this quote, the road ahead, and I don't know why I cut this out. I don't know exactly why I insisted on saving it, but and I don't know why I pulled it out to put in here, but I just feel like it needs to be in here. I don't know why. It just, I don't know, it feels right. So I'm, I usually work in a pretty organic process and I uh, really like working that way. And I try really hard to go with what feels right. So um, I don't know what the month of October has ahead in store for me. It's the end of September, beginning of October right now when I'm filming this, so I have no idea, but I do have this feeling that this needs to be on here, so I don't know what that means. But we're going to go with it. Okay. You can use really different things. I have some stencils cut here, um, prototype stencils that actually didn't work out. Um, the design wasn't quite right and pieces actually fell out of it. Um, I have Punchinella that's just really past it. These are the kind of things that you definitely not only can use in your mixed media, um, but you can use in your in your um, year journal. And I would love to see you guys use some of these. This is actually a piece of a stencil that I had in my stash. I don't need the whole thing. I have another piece. It was a really long one, and I'm like kind of wanting to. I don't know. I'm kind of wanting to put some of it on here. So I think we're gonna do that. I'm going to cut a couple sections off. If you look at it less like a stencil and more as just interesting plastic. And I'm going to actually cut it apart. I would love to see you this month use some fun, interesting things in your journal. Um, maybe use some bits of nature, leaves. Um, they don't have to be real ones. <laughs> use some silk ones. Maybe somebody gives you, um, I don't know, maybe somebody gives you a gift and you want to use part of it in your, in your journal. I would love to see that happen. I'm going to grab my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher for which I need staples. And uh, I have to find the staples. I'll be right back. <laughs> I put them away, <laughs> you know, in a safe place. Took a minute to figure out where that safe place was. So let's put some more. I like the Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher because you get the sort of industrial look of the staple, oops, without um, a big, huge staple. A little tiny staple. I love the way that looks, and you could stick something underneath there. So if you got, say, a movie ticket or a picture or a piece of patterned paper, you could stick that underneath there. That would be really cute. This is just a scrap of paper that came with some um, 
stamps and stencils I bought recently. This piece of um, background paper was in there. I think Dina Wakely's paper. So that's the kind of thing I would love to see you use in your journal this month. You, of course, could do something more of the traditional, like break out, you know, your Halloween decorations. This is a Tim Holtz stencil that I just got actually recently. It has uh, skulls and crossbones on it. Um, and actually, now that I put that out, I think we, I was going to end the video, but I think we need to do a skull on Halloween. I do celebrate Halloween. Some of you may not, and that's cool. Oh, I think we're going to, let's get a stencil brush. <laughs> no, now that I did that, I need, I need to put a stencil there. I mean, a skull there. So this is just um, Adirondack paint. I'm trying to use up paint here in my art room. Oops. Nobody needs to hear that clinking. So I put some paint on the brush and now I'm dabbing off a lot of it so that I have very little paint on the brush. And that's really the way to get a good stencil. Whether you're using my stencils or someone else's, I do have my own stencil line for those of you who don't know. I should tape this off so, off so I don't get any of the um, Im uh, uh, images on either side, but I'm not, I don't care, it's fine. <laughs> I love that. I knew I would like this stencil. And then we can take a black pen. Halloween. So things like that and really personalize your journal, get it ready for the month, add some fun little bits and pieces to it that you have in your stash and see what you can come up with. Uh, I will be back um, tomorrow with another video from my year 2017. We're going to do some fun stuff I think this week. Have fun setting up your section for October and if you want to join the Facebook groups, uh, the link for the two teaching groups and my personal uh, group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression. They're all in the description below. In fact, there's a link to a site called Linktree. And if you click on that, everything's on there. Um, all the, I can't hide. All the places you can find me on the internet, they're all on there. Uh, the link for my tip jar if you want to support my channel and the free content here on YouTube and Facebook, along with my happy mail address and a bunch of other stuff. So check it out. If I forget to link anything, somebody put it in the comments and I will correct it ASAP. That's it for right now. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a good day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.